Hello everyone, Lonely Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Thursday, March 31st. And we have another trailer pack, but it's not your usual trailer pack. This is the Cresetto SPL pack by DD Mod Passion, 45.13 megabytes. Now, you get quite a bit with this. Uh, where do you start? Well, let's start where, where do you find them? Well, as I said, they're not typical. You're not the. They're not your typical trailer. They're actually under manure spreaders. And here they are because, well, they're a forage wagon that holds manure. And doubles as a manure spreader, so that's a. They're, they're kind of quirky. So I'm going to try to explain how they work as best I can. Let's start with the smallest one. Um, so you see, we have, uh, basically the same one, two of, two versions of each, uh, one with a wood panels, wood panels, and one with metal sides. So, they're the same price, the only difference is that. So you got, you just go with the 20,000 liter up to the 27 to 32,000 liters for 81, uh, $81,000. Then you go up to the uh, 33 to 43,000 for 105. And then uh, up to the 40 to 50,000 liters for 112. So uh, let's go with the, the biggest one here. Uh, so the cut, the differences is going to be a little bit with the, I believe the color changes, um, because, um, yeah, the sides. Yeah, because it's wood. So that's the only difference. Let's look at this one, the biggest one here. Oh, and you do get these manure spreader attachments so there are 13 slots for each trailer no matter which one and five slots for the ends we'll look at the ends in a moment let's look at the trailer so except for the smallest one you get an option to enlarge it this one you can get to enlarge it up to 50,000 liters um, wheel brands you have a few they're basically just going to be wheel choices uh, but now brands, now this is interesting, you got Corsetto, Case, Kloss, now this colors, right? Dude, so this is where your color choices are, it kind of goes through it, every Massey, New Holland, Sammy, Steyr, Voltra, uh, or just black, and back to Corsetto. Uh, the scale is not a scale, it is a ladder. <laughs> Uh, additional real rear lights. Yes or no. It just puts the little... Let's see if we can zoom in there. It uh, puts little... Well, actual lights. Uh, so you can... if you When you turn your lights on, those will turn on. And the attacher type is up front here. So it's a extension of the PTO. Uh, detached... Oh, so when it's not hooked up, it's not there or it's non-detached, as in it's always there. Yellow, black, black, yellow, yellow. <laughs> um, rear splash guards, which is this lower part here. And then the side bumpers, which would be the these bumpers here, yes or no, you can take those off. Uh, the design of the rear lights, so you can have uh, three different designs. And then your rim color, chrome, is an option. Right. Okay, so. On to the... These two are de identical, as far as I can tell. Just one's a two-prong uh, and one's a four-prong. And you can switch them between... Switch them up here anyways. Uh, and, of course, you can go through all the different colors. And the... PTO can change colors. Now, full rear protection, no, or, oh, I see, yes or no. So you can have it actually totally covered or not. However, none of that stuff changes how it operates. 
Uh, as a matter of fact, none of any of these options change how it operates, except for the capacities. Uh, if we see, see, look at the smallest one. Yes, you don't have. Let's see brands. Let's go to this one. Does it have? Yeah. So if you change the brands, the whole thing changes color, not just uh, the, the the so the metal part is what changes color. So if you like that, you don't like the wood panels, then. Um, and you can change the panel colors, but just to black. Right, okay, enough shenanigan-ing. As a trailer, without the manure spreader, just as a trailer, it will hold, and I will show you what it will hold. So, uh, let's start with, well, I guess it starts wherever. We can start with chaff. So chaff, grass, manure, of course, straw, silage, hay, chaff, grass, back to manure. All right, so we're going to leave manure to last because uh, let's try chaff. Say you're using this as a, uh, a wagon for chaff, and uh, I'm... I usually show that. Um, I probably should. Uh, so as, as you can see, there's no trigger coming up to dump this uh, over a cell point or uh, your silo. What you have to do, L1 and turn on your trailer with the square button. It opens that and it dumps it. So. You kind of have to know where you are because you could just end up oh it doesn't oh it won't dump it on the ground will it no so that's interesting okay you can't dump stuff on the ground it'll only dump stuff where there's where a trigger appears. Hmm. Right. Um, yeah. Okay, so, because it held chaff and forged products, <clears throat> I thought I would uh, test it out. Um, on well a forage wagon forage harvester and uh this is what happens uh, oh now it's working again oh and then it did that and it's not even full and yeah um so I wouldn't use this as a forage wagon for a forage harvester. And the other thing, uh, because it wouldn't let you, I want to see if it actually dumps it out on uh, onto. Um, toggle work mode. No, I want to empty it. Turn on harvester. No. Pipe in. Open cover. Oh, open cover. If you didn't know, open cover is this little thing on the front. See that little to the left, middle left there under the menu? Yeah. Weird. All right. It's not letting me dump. It's not letting me dump anything here. So, huh. Uh, yeah. Uh, definitely you won't be able to use this for bunker or doing anything with silage in a bunker. Yeah. All right. So I needed to test that. Right. So now you know. Uh, that doesn't work. Um, uh, next thing 
is um, so say you fill it with manure because you just want to <clears throat> transport it and um, you come here and you turn it on oh now it's emptying okay so now it's working <laughs> sure okay uh, but it's only going to do it at a cell point it won't put it on the ground right okay so how do you attach the back part well <clears throat> you have to have manure in your trailer first before you can attach because if I go here and turn on the trailer nothing happens it won't open you can't open you can't open it unless you have a near in it so to use it as a manure spreader you have to have it open first then back up to it ever so carefully because it's a little touchy hold on let's get uh, let's get lined up here oh such a terrible time backing up right now there we go okay 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 there we go and there it is attached thank goodness and that lid will close and now you're off to the races now you're ready to go so I have one ready here and I have been testing it so it spreads at 24 meters it has a setting that says medium small or lar or wide and I will show you that once you have the attachers open uh, you can uh, so I should start the engine of course <clears throat> fold so folding manure spreader will close the and unfold open it turning it on will of course start spreading uh, go to r1 toggle l3 and l1 l3 medium so you got wide which is the 24 whoops which is this oh come on open unfold there we go 24 now if you go to medium spreading goes to here and then if you go to close spreading it's still oh now it's going small it didn't before there we go <laughs> uh it's being a little quirky right so i don't think the oh yeah the computer does uh the, the driver does right all right so i think that's it i don't think i've missed anything of course if you want to de you need to unfold okay to detach it just detach it and then you have your trailer back you want to hook it back up again just go there there you go can you unload this Uh, with the back attached I don't think so but we're gonna try because well just because um, quite a bit so um, uh, oh work speed that's another thing I don't um, I, I don't know what that does it doesn't seem to change anything and if anybody knows what that means the select work mode speed one is I would like to know in the comments below right so 
No. If we unfold it... <laughs> it's just spreading it. Okay. <clears throat> right. Okay, so that's enough shenanigans. It's pretty much a manure spreader. You can use it for a few... Um, you can use it as a trailer. It's not the most ideal of trailers. I wouldn't recommend it to you. You feel it trying to... Well, it's not going to dump anything on the ground. It'll only dump into a cell point or a silo. It won't dump into a bunker silo. Pretty much it's... Uh, this, I, I know why it's in manure spreaders now. Because it's pretty much exclusively a manure spreader. That also has serves the purpose for a few other things, and that's about it. So, anywho, um, hopefully uh, that kind of explains most uh, most of it. I do hope. I hope I haven't missed anything. Uh, lights? Did we show the lights? Probably not. Uh, there's no beacons. There's lights. There's the there's the backup light. Well, not backup lights. Those are the rear lights. Uh, signals. And no beacons that I can see. Uh, there is your adjustable tongue height. Oh, and the wheels do uh, the wheels do turn, turning axles. Uh, yeah. Uh, running lights. Hmm, yeah. Anyways, yeah. That is your uh, Crescendo uh, L uh, SPL pack. Uh, by DD Mod Passion, 45.13 megabytes to download. There you go. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's just a game. So, till next time, bye for now. <laughs>